The father mentally ill man shot dead by police in New South Wales said his son like a caged animal who was afraid of what going on around him at the time the incident. Highlights police say body-worn cameras are not being fitted because they don't want operational tactics to be made public police said body-worn cameras were not installed because they did not want operational tactics to be made public. Mark McKenzie said his son had a hell-like childhood filled with the disease. Mark McKenzie said his son had a hell-like childhood filled with illness. Todd McKenzie, 40, who lives with schizophrenia, was fatally shot at his home in Tari on the mid-north coast on July 31, 2019. An investigation heard that he was alone at the time, but had a mental health episode involving paranoid delusions about people trying to break in. While he was walking around street with a knife in his hand, his neighbors called the police, and after a nine-hour siege, Tactical Operations Unit officers raided house. Tasering failed to subdue Todd McKenzie and was fatally shot three times after attacking them, officers previously told the investigation. The investigation said that 40-year-old was alone at his home in Tari on the day of incident and was suffering from mental health problems. Tactical officers entering the house were not wearing body cameras. One of these officers previously told the investigation that this was because they did not want operational tactics to be made public. The names of officers are not given for legal reasons and some details of the police operation during siege have been hidden. Todd's father, Mark McKenzie, said his son had a hell life due to childhood illnesses such as chronic asthma and meningitis that kept him in the hospital a lot. He described him as a creative and spiritual person who played musical instruments and wrote songs. Mr. McKenzie said his son was very kind and caring, but he could hear voices from an early age. He said that if police had told him how ill his son was on night of siege, it would have helped to calm situation, as he often dealt with Todd's delusions. Mark McKenzie outside the Lidcombe Forensic Court. During the siege, Mr. McKenzie spoke to his son on the phone, but Todd told him that everything was fine and that he did not need to interfere. She said police told her that the family didn't need to be involved and that she needed to stand on sidelines. Mr. McKenzie later said he watched a police video of his son's behavior during the siege and was shocked by how excited he was. He was like a caged animal, squealing, he said. He would think he was being terrorized. Mr. McKenzie said police negotiators assumed he have enough knowledge of mental illness to help his son, who be afraid the police shout and break windows and his dogs bark at him. Family and friends traveling from Tari to Sydney for investigation wore shirts with Todd McKenzie's name on the front and no one deserves to die for disobedience.